Thanks for staying with us. I'm Bill O'Reilly in the personal story segment tonight. I think it's safe to say that most Americans do not know Barack Obama very well, even after all this time. The Obama beat uh, writer in the L.A. Times admitted that yesterday, saying the center is still a mystery to him because the Obama campaign does not provide much access. Joining us now from Philadelphia is a guy who does know Barack Obama. Dr. Mark Lamont Hill teaches at Temple University and is a Fox News analyst. Um, we talked about this on the radio with you yesterday, and you did admit to me that <clears throat> it's hard to know Barack Obama. He, he's a uh, public man, but a private man. And even you, who've known him for many years, you, you know, you don't really know what he's going to do. Well, you know, I followed Barack Obama's campaign and his candidacy from the state Senate till, till now. And at, and at this point, I can say comfortably that I have a sense of how he'll govern as a president. Of course, there's some mystery around him, as there is around any candidate. It's, it's not just Barack. It's everyone. But I think we know that he'll be a very fair-minded, very even-handed president who will likely move the nation in a positive direction, more so, I think, than McCain or, or some of the Democratic presidents who have preceded him, like Jimmy Carter or even Bill Clinton. But he's not left-wing enough for you, um, even no. though his history is, is you know, in the left-wing precincts. He's not left-wing enough for you. No, not for me. I'm, I mean, I'm a hardcore leftist. Barack Obama, contrary to what many people have said, is not a leftist. He is much more of a centrist. He is someone who will compromise, who will concede many important points to move the nation forward. I think that actually is an encouraging sign for conservatives. Barack Obama is not someone who's going to trash free trade. He's not going to trash global capitalism. He's not going to trash things like No Child Left Behind. He's much more in a reform mode that I think will advance the nation, not as much as I'd like to see, but certainly uh, in a way that would be better than McCain again or Bill Clinton. Why is the L.A. Times reporter, and remember, the L.A. Times is a... Uh a vehicle that supports Barack Obama not only in its editorial pages but in its news pages as well. I mean, it's it's you know in the tank for Obama. Um, why yeah. would the guy write? Look, I I can't get a handle on this. I mean, he said flat out to his readers, <laughs> I don't know him, and I can't tell you whether he's ready to govern, even after all these months being on a trail with him. What is that all about? Well, I think there's two issues. Two issues here. One is a political issue. I think politically, we do know enough about him to know that no, he'll no, be an No, no, but I'm talking president. about this guy. All right, here, here's no, no, a reporter. Saying, I think that, he's being honest. Saying. He's being honest. No, no. I but that's what I'm saying. I think his, I think his anxiety is different than the, than the most American voters' anxieties. American voters have some political anxieties. This guy is talking about the way in which the Obama campaign has not always been forthcoming with the media, the way in which they have covered him and protected him. And I think that's a legitimate point. I think Barack Obama, for example, could have been more upfront about ACORN. I think he could have been more upfront about Jeremiah Wright, although I think he was right on those issues. I think he could have been more upfront. And it's that type of operation that makes some media folk I, rightly anxious about Barack Obama. I think that's a legitimate but, point. But if, but it but doesn't if Barack speak to Obama is brilliant, and I believe he is, I mean, Harvard Law, he ran a great campaign. If he's personable, yeah. and he certainly is personable, and, you know, I sat with him for half an hour. If he's brilliant and personable, why can't anybody get to know him who's around him every day? There's, there's some wall that's being put up. You know that. I think it's with well, you, too. I mean, there's a wall between Barack Obama and the rest of the world, perhaps not with his wife, but with the rest of the world. <laughs> so why is that wall there? Well, I wouldn't concede that there's a wall. There's many media folk who find, find him to be quite accessible at the, to, at the level that the L.A. Nobody Times knows is talking him. about. I can't find one media person, doctor, that knows him, not one. No one. No, well, but... Well, my other point is that he's, he's rightfully skeptical of the media because in many ways it has been the media that has proliferated some of these narratives about him, whether it's socialist, whether it's Muslim, whether it's, you know, terrorist. All these narratives have come from media folk, and so he's probably rightly skeptical and wary of getting too close to media personalities. Well, and that's smart. The media is not to be trusted in this country. But I can't find Absolutely. anybody who knows the man. You, don't, you know him, but you don't know him. Um, I can't find anybody in the country to tell me, hey, look, Here's really what Barack Obama is like. Here's what he's likely to do. You think he's going to govern to the center. I hope you're right. Yeah. I hope you're right. He is going to govern. To, oh, well, I am right. Maybe he you will. And I don't think he's going to stand up to Pelosi and Reid, who are just avowed no, leftists. I don't think he's going to stand oh, up to them. Oh, he absolutely will. All you have to do is look at his record from the state Senate until now. His whole career is marked by compromise. It's always marked by getting so many people at the table. I think he's going to stand up to them. I, I mean, oh, I he don't. absolutely will. All right. He's got a spine and a backbone. Well, no, well, it's not about that. It's about opportunism, you know, but we'll see. Hey, Doc, we appreciate it as always. Thanks very much. Reality Check always is next. A busy.